Hello, I'm Brian Cox. I'm a physicist and I work studying the smallest objects in the universe, black holes, and the origin and evolution of the universe itself. The most wonderful thing about time for me is that we don't know what it is. At the most fundamental level, it's one of the deepest of mysteries. And that's why when I look at a watch, I don't just see the second hand ticking away. I see something that needs to be explained. We do have pictures of time in our physical theories. So for Einstein, your watch is measuring the distance you travel over space time between events. Or for someone who studies the origin and evolution of the universe, then the difference between the past and the future, the arrow of time, is defined by the Big Bang itself. How far do you travel in your lifetime? Well, according to Einstein, if you have a perfect watch and you start it ticking at the moment that you're born and you carry it with you for your whole life, then that watch will have measured the distance you've traveled over space-time for your whole life. And that distance is your age. What does eternity mean to me? Well, in our ever-expanding universe, we think there will be a time in the far, far future when all the stars have ceased to shine and even all the black holes have evaporated away. And at that point, there will be no way of marking time. Time, effectively, will have stopped forever. And that's my definition of eternity.